Today we'll talk in depth about AMC Entertainment's current state and why it's about to take off. We'll cover everything you need to know about this changing situation, from big changes in institutional ownership to the ongoing synthetic share problem. But first, some exciting news. According to a recent CNBC report, AMC is getting ready to ride the wave of a box office rebound. This recognition for mainstream media has been a game-changer for years. Retail investors have seen AMC's promise by following its resilience and growth despite many problems. However, the media has often painted a bleak picture, downplaying its progress and implying failure, even though AMC has been consistently recovering and performing well. The story is changing. AMC just reported its earnings, but the stock price is still in a consolidation phase. This is different from rivals like IMAX and Cinemar, whose prices went up a lot after reporting their earnings. The difference in performance isn't due to AMC's own shortcomings, but to unfair tactics used to make it look like the underdog. Despite this, CNBC's recent admission marks a turning point, which is in line with what retail investors have known all along. One of the best indicators of AMC's potential is its growing institutional ownership. Reports show that institutional holdings have reached levels similar to the famous 2021 squeeze. While news outlets tell retail investors to sell, institutions are buying aggressively. If the stock were really a bad investment, why would banks be buying so many shares? This trend brings up an important question. Obvem metric confirms that retail investors have been holding on to their shares since 2021. The fact that there hasn't been much selling activity strongly suggests that many of the shares floating around the market may be fake. These fake shares, which were made to manipulate the stock's price, show how dishonest short sellers are. The creation of fake shares has had a big effect on AMC's price changes over the last four years. The market is now full of fake shares, which makes it harder to get a fair value. This is why price goals are still high, with some predicting possible peaks of $20,000 or more. However, these targets are very different. The sheer number of fake shares shows how bad things could get if the market conditions get worse. Aligned collateral is a key part of keeping the synthetic share system going. Institutions use assets to get cash, which lets them keep making and selling synthetic shares. Recent events in the crypto market, like Binance releasing BFUSD, a stable coin with a yield that can be used as collateral, show that new types of leverage are always being created. These strategies aren't just used by crypto institutions. Other financial instruments, like NVIDIA derivatives, are also used to create collateral. The worrying part is that these actions might spread to AMC's stock, keeping the circle of fake creation and price suppression going. As markets change, short sellers are under more and more pressure. One example is the closing of short positions in Marathon Digital Holdings. When these positions are covered, it has an effect on other stocks, such as AMC and GME. This is because markets are interconnected, so losses in one area can force short sellers to cover positions in another, which drives up prices even more. The overall economy is another thing that affects short sellers. Recently, Citadel founder Ken Griffin voiced worries over tariff policies put in place by former President Donald Trump. Griffin said that these policies could hurt U.S. businesses, which showed that he was worried about how they would affect his views. Griffin's worries point to a larger issue. When powerful people in the financial world face problems, the ripple effects can change the plans of short sellers and market makers alike. This creates chances for stocks like AMC to gain momentum while opposing forces weaken. Right now, the situation with AMC is a waiting game, and the strategies used by short sellers are becoming more clear every day. As institutional ownership grows, it will no longer be possible to rely on fake stocks, too much debt, and manipulative market practices. Retail investors are standing firm as the foundation for these dishonest practices weakens. A market crash or major economic downturn could speed up this process, forcing short sellers to unwind their positions. When that happens, the long-awaited short squeeze could happen, potentially driving AMC's price to all-time highs. As we wrap up, it's important to understand the bigger implications of AMC journey. The media's shifting tone, growing institutional support, and the exposure of dishonest practices all point to a turning point for the stock for retail investors. It is important to stay updated and understand what is going on. The story of AMC is far from over. This is a stock that needs your attention. Whether you're an experienced investor or new to the market, it has the ability to go against expectations and change how people think about investing in small amounts. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What do you think about AMC stock? 
let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching.